Hello and welcome to a special episode of Only Connect. On one side, an all-star team of former champion captains, all called David. They were match made as part of a grand plan to pit them against three brilliant quizzers, all called Goliath. But after literally minutes of research, the production team gave up and invited the eggheads. Nevertheless, I would like to stress that despite one team being from a rival quiz, I will, as always, be completely impartial. So, let's meet the team that's going to get scrambled. Welcome on my right, Pat Gibson, three times world quizzing champion and who wants to be a millionaire winner, who joined the Eggheads team after winning the second Are You an Egghead tournament. Barry Simmons, a former IT manager and Brain of Britain finalist, who joined the Eggheads team after winning the first Are You an Egghead tournament. And their captain, Chris Hughes, a former railway worker, mastermind and Brain of Britain champion, who has been a member of the Eggheads team since their first appearance in 2003. They are all professional quizzers. They are the Eggheads. So, Chris, you're known as the standard to beat in quizzing circles. What do you think of your chances on Only Connect? Well, they're a good team, but I think our answers will carry more weight. Does that mean you think you're not going to win, but you're already planning to claim moral victory? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. You will be facing, on my left, David Bill, a former bookie and captain of Series 3 winners, The Gamblers, who has defeated the insurers, the bowlers, the archers' admirers and the strategists. David Lee, a political and security risk analyst who captained Series 5 winners, The Analysts, beating the editors, the technologists, the trade unionists and the antiquarians. And their captain, David Stainer, a tax lawyer and captain of the greatest team in Only Connect history, the mighty crossworders, who have laid waste to the Birkbeck alumni, the Edinburgh Scrabblers, the science writers, the lap psychologists, the rugby boys, the Epicureans, the university challengers and the masterminders. These people are among the greatest quiz players in Britain. Together, they make up the Davids, potentially the most formidable quiz team in the country. The question is... Can they be beaten? So, David, can you be beaten? I would have thought we probably could be beaten, but we'll try our hardest to make sure we're not. You've got new people on either side of you tonight, not That's the full right. crossworders. I'm assuming you've seen these rival quizzers moving to championhood in their own series. What do you think of playing with them? I'm very excited at the prospects. I you know, think we'll be a good team together, to be honest, and we're all called David, importantly. I've never liked the name. Let battle commence with, as you can probably all guess, round one. And if you can't, you're in the wrong place. I will simply be asking what's the connection between four apparently random clues. Eggheads, you won the toss. You'll be going first. Welcome. We're very delighted to see you here. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Twisted flax, please, Victoria. The twisted flax. Your first clue of the Only Connect special is coming up now. Just three. There were some twelve angry men. Yeah. Doesn't help. What? Nine? Yeah, George must be. No, are we? Off the number nine. Next, please. It's four petals in the remembrance position. So. Yeah. Nine is obviously so that's that's nine. Then it goes down to two. I can't think of any number no. sequence. It's nine no. and two. Next one, please. Ten seconds. Plus eight. Is it 20 teams in the Premier League? Yeah. Three seconds. What are we saying? You no. must give me your answer. You've buzzed in. No, we, we just don't have a clue. Fair enough. In that case, I'm going to show the fourth clue to the Davids for a possible bonus. Things that are different between England and Scotland. That's absolutely right. It is the maths to make the difference between Scotland and England. England has three fewer jurors two fewer petals on a Remembrance Poppy, eight more Premier League teams and five fewer Kings called James. So a bonus point for you, David. You may now choose your own hieroglyph. Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What's the connection here? Time starts now. Should we go next? Yeah. Next, please. Next. I don't know. Should we go next? It's going to be some nickname. Yeah, it might be, actually. Yeah, go on. Next, please. Sasa worm. I mean, that's a virus, but yeah. quite who the author is, I don't know. Yeah. Probably be a. Uh, should we, should we say next? Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, please. Saddam Hussein. Did the old. No. Ten seconds. Oh, my word. Have you ever written Churchill's fiction? <laughs> no, I do. Two seconds. 
Nope, yeah. you're out of time. So there's a bonus chance for you now, eggheads. Mother of? No, no. that's a prefix. I don't think you know it. No. The answer is they all attracted bounties. The Koipu, sort of vermin in Louisiana, and Saddam Hussein, there were bounties for killing them. Enlistees in the American Civil War, they got a bounty for joining up, and the author of the Sasser Worm, sort of malware programme, was caught as part of a Microsoft-funded initiative to offer bounties for that sort of thing. So no points there. Eggheads, you may now choose your own question. Water. Okay. Yeah, water, please. Water. OK, what is the connection here? Time starts now. Painting, that's all. Yeah, that's all. No, 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 no. Next, please. Non gas with butterflies. Oh. Are they all at the same exhibition? I can't believe Dali stole them. No, they wouldn't have been. No. I'm making back on. Surrealist and post impressionist. Surrealist and post impressionist, that's, that's all, yeah. Next, please. Ten seconds. Oh. Were these all paintings that caused controversy? Three seconds. Didn't see the last one. Mm. You're out of time, so I'm going to show the fourth clue to the Davids. Uh, hung mistakenly in some general way. I mean, the Labato was hung upside down. Maybe the rest were displayed I'll take it. Three of them were hung upside down. The, the Rothko was actually hung horizontally Sorry. instead of vertically. It was sort of upside down, so all artworks hung incorrectly for the bonus point. And you may now choose your own question. We'll go for Lion. Lion. These are going to be picture clues. What's the connection? Here's the first one. Next. That's um, Cuba. 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 I don't know. To be honest, do you think we ought to go for another? Yeah, I think we should. should, should yeah, Next, on. please. Have they all got um, some sort of non-standard? Macy's has no apostrophe, does it? It's got one on that thing. It's got one on that it? picture. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> I'm sure Ten seconds. Some... Next, please. Oh, oh, they've got, got just got asterisks. Maybe Macy's has got this. Macy's really Three got seconds. Oh. Asterisks form some part of the name of them. B, asterisks, which to the band, and MASH um, has asterisks between the letters. That's absolutely right. That second one is the computer game Cubert, which is mm. Q asterisk Bert. Macy's, it's a star or an asterisk instead of the apostrophe there because the, uh, the founder had a star tattoo as a teenager. Mash, of course, it's in between the letters. So mm. asterisks in the name, well done. Eggheads, which would you like next? I have Horus, please. Your first clue is coming up now. I got to the moon. Yeah. Nothing else there. Anything there's there's people on it? Yeah. It's next clue. Next, please. And then flight 214. Ah, someone in a field in Pennsylvania. Oh. Yeah, could be. Could be. Let's move on. Next. Next, please. Neutrino. Well, Neutrino's not the super max. It's only going to max. No, yeah. open. It's Ten seconds. Next, yeah, next, next please. Suit. York means struck by lightning. All been struck by lightning. They have all been struck by lightning. Yes, Lee Trevino, the golfer, survived a lightning strike in 1975. Always the risk, isn't it, when people go out to play golf, that they might come back alive. So you're off the blocks, Eggheads, with a point, and back to the Davids for the final question. Two reads, and I suspect it will be the music question, because we haven't had that yet. So indeed it is. You'll be hearing the clues. First one coming in now. Darling, I said, what's for tea? Next, please. No, idea what that no. No. Next, please. Pump it up a little more, pump, get the party going on. Pump the jam, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that thing's with a, a, con, you know, a, a spread in the last one? Should we go for the Next, please. Lady Mama, Lady Mama. Lady Mama. Uh, preserves. Um, we have Pump Up the Jam by Technotronic featuring Feli. Yes. Uh, and. Um, Lady Marmalade by um, whoever. I'm afraid by. preserves is not the answer, oh. so there is a possible bonus for you, We're eggheads. Spreads. Yeah, spreads. That's not it either. Now, had you recognised the second one, you would have thought the same thing. It's a taste of honey, but the first one, the Who's Heinz baked beans. Yeah. So not mm. preserves or spreads. Thinking how I'm toast. Exactly, baked beans. Much that I would love them to be a preserve are not. <laughs> 
at the end of round one, then. The Eggheads have got one point, but the Davids are ahead with three. <laughs> round two, the sequences round. Davids, I know you're familiar with this, but Eggheads, I'll just remind you, this is one where there are still four clues, but you may not see the fourth. I want to know what it is. You will be able to choose first again. Which would you like? Horn Viper. We've not had yeah, that. Horn Viper. Yeah, we've not had it yet. Horn Viper. What is the fourth in a sequence here? First one coming up now. It's Barack Obama. His mother was Anne Don Donnell, or Stanley Anne Donham. Go with it. No, let's go on. Let's go on. No, sorry, shouldn't have buzzed. I'm afraid you've buzzed. Yeah. I need an answer. Barack Obama. That is very, very far from the correct answer, I'm afraid. So, I'm going to show the next two clues to the Davids. So, they're the four, so it's... I need an answer, please. Rowan Cantab, you think? Williams Cantab. Williams Cantab. Have another go. I don't know. Is Cantab right? I mean, that's Cambridge, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Cantab Briggy. I don't know. No. Nope. I'm afraid no. I'm not going to give it to you. And you're very close again. These are the signatures of the Church of England bishops going up to the most senior. They are Justin Dunelm, that's Durham, Richard London, London, St. Tamu, Ebor, York, and the Archbishop of Canterbury would sign his name Rowan Cantuar. You simply don't get enough letters from him no. to get that exactly no, correct. No. David, you may now have your own question. Um, water, I think. Water, first in a sequence coming up. What's the fourth time starts now? Next, please. Good grief. I don't, I don't know. Do you think they're four in a series of paintings or something? It could be. Should we go next? Yeah. Next, please. Revolution de 1789. That is not the right answer, I'm afraid. Do you want to have a go, Eggheads, for a bonus? Battle of Waterloo, 1815. Closer, but still not correct, I'm afraid, is La Paix de 1815. And, I mean, this is a hideous question. They are yeah. the sculptures on the Arc de Triomphe in chronological order of their title. So 1815 is the right date, but the sculpture is La Paix de 1815. No points again but good stabs. Eggheads, which would you like next? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. OK, what is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Six, 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 six. So what could be... Well, could, it, could, they, could they all be six, six, six? Should we see the next one and be able to yeah, see? Yeah, next one, please. Next, please. Is that six, six, six? I don't know. No, we better go again. We better next. go again. Yeah, next one, please. Are they on? They must be on six. It must be six. six. Ten seconds. Yeah, go for it. Remember, it's a sequence. Uh, what, what else is six six six? Um, oh gosh, yes. Number of the beast. I'm afraid that's not the answer, David. Would you like to have a go? Yeah, we think it's the emergency number nine nine. It's referring to nine 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 um, six 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 seven 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 eight 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 and nine nine nine. Emergency service is exactly the example we had ourselves. Of course, if they were all six six six, it wouldn't be a sequence. So nine 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 or something pertaining to it, we need it for the fourth clue. Well done, David, for the bonus. Which question would you like for yourselves? Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. First in a sequence coming up now. Should we, yeah. should we go next? Mm. Uh, next, please. Are they, I think are, are, are they the, the no. pro, um, size of protests or public things in, in London? You know, like what's the biggest? Mm. Oh, the, the, the wedding. No. Go next. Should we go next, please? Public inquiry. Yeah. Would, would they have had one until the death of the Queen? Well, you know, Ten no. seconds. Is it going to have some sort of... I just can't. Three seconds. The royal, the royal wedding. That is not the right answer, I'm afraid. Do you want to have a go, Eggheads, for a bonus? No, we haven't got anything on this one. 
The answer is rioting in London and other cities. And the connection is it is four occasions in order when Parliament was recalled. Oh, no. Recalled for the death of the Queen Mother and the problem with Iraq and the weapons of mass destruction. Confidence in the media and police in 2011 and again later that year because of the riots. So, last chance for a question of your own in this round, Eggheads. What's it to be? Lion. Yeah. <laughs> Lion. Mm -hmm. What is the last in this sequence? Here's the first. Eight equals copper plus tin. tin. That's C. That's brass. It's brass. Eight is brass. Nine, ten, eleven. It's Scrabble scores. You get eight for brass. No. No. Three, four, five, five six, seven. No. No. Next, please. Nine, Nine is copper. copper. Eight is brass. Nine is copper. Oh, the, oh, the wedding anniversaries. So eight, nine, ten, ten eleven. Seconds. Eleven, eleven is steel, isn't it? Eleven, fe, steel. Have one more go. Uh, well, steel, it's carbon in steel, so it's uh, eleven equals fe plus c. There you go. <coughs> These are wedding anniversaries in chemical symbols. So the eighth anniversary, bronze, is a copper tin alloy. Ninth, copper itself. Tenth, tin. Eleventh anniversary, which is steel. And iron, because I think in America they have an iron anniversary of some kind, so I wanted to hear about the trace of carbon that makes it steel. Very well done. And there's one question remaining for you now, David. It's the two reads. What's the fourth in this sequence? And they're going to be picture clues. Here's the first. Should we go next? Yeah. Next. <laughs> Completely nowhere on there. Should we go next? Yeah. Next, yeah. please. So that's the, that's the that's Canary Islands, yeah. isn't it? So, so yeah. the... Do you, do you think Norwich City? I don't know. Well, yeah. it's a sequence of the sequence. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll just... Okay. Um, Ten seconds. Three seconds. Oh. A, a Norwich City shirt. I'm going to come back to you later to find out why you said that, but it's not the answer. Possible bonus eggheads. There's a canary wine, isn't there, that's mentioned in Twelfth Night, so is it a bottle of canary wine? It is not. It's a dog. But before we discuss why, David, why were you saying Norwich City? Well, we'd, we'd, we'd identified the Canary Islands. We thought the bird might be a, a canary, so we, we appreciated that. Didn't have much of a sequential element to it, but I think we were plucking at straws. I think I can see why it's, it's dogs, I think. Each one has inspired the name of the thing before it or perhaps That is exactly what it is. The canary creeper plant, named after the canary bird because of the colours canary bird intrinsic to the Canary Islands, and Canary Islands so-called, according to Pliny the Elder, because they were full of dogs. Carn is, of course, Latin for dog. So, at the end of round two, then, the eggheads have improved to four points. The Davids also have four points. <laughs> Time for the connecting wall, the 16 jumbled up clues that need sorting into four groups of four. Now, there's nothing I love more than multimedia and the gradual encroachment of the internet over television. So I'm delighted to say you can play along at the same time on your computer. You don't even have to look at the screen. David, you will be going first this time and you have a choice, lion or water. Go water. Take your pick. Water. Water it is. You have, of course, two and a half minutes to solve it, starting... Now. Okay, John Travolta, you know John's or Scientology. Scientology. Scientologist. Scientologist. Kirsty Alley. Robert. Katie Holmes. Lee Valley. Okay. Right, so who have we left uh, out? Cruise, Lee Cruise. No, that's one. So Cruise and Alley we've left out, how? Dear oh dear. Right, good. Okay, okay um, Remote control, quality control, damage control, cruise, cruise control. control. Cruise control, we've got birth as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So we've left birth out, we'll leave cruise out again. Leave damage. damage out. There we go. Okay, so. Just three attempts great, now great with Gatsby. two groups. Caraway, Caraway's a seed, seed. isn't it? Mm. Patch, Patch Adams, oh, Jay Gatsby. Double T, double Benjamin a. Button. No. Um, See. Is there something about the shape of the words? Patch a diver. A 
about halfway through the time. Caraway. Caraway seed. You want on, on, on uh, unforgettable unbutton? No. Yeah. Mm. Brain damage and um, damage limitation. Damage is a film, isn't it? I mm. wonder whether we ought to try damage. Gatsby, no. no. Gatsby must be something to do with the great Gatsby, must not it? None of them are the great, are they? No. He was J. Gatsby. Um, do any of them have like letters preceding them? No. Um, let's have a let's have a hint. Okay. Should we go? Gatsby, damage, forgettable. Patch up. Committee. Patch. They're kind of more involved words, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Um, should we go those three seconds. and Caraway? Yeah. I was, thinking, well, I was thinking patch for patch, added, but yeah, it's... Yeah. That's it with ten seconds to go. You solved the wall. Well done. Let's see about the connections. Travolta, Ali, Hubbard, Holmes. Famous Scientologists. John Travolta, Kirstie Alley, Katie Holmes and the founder, L. Ron Hubbard. They're advocates of Scientology. Cruise remote quality birth. Things that can be preceded by... Oh, no, uh, sorry, follow. Sorry, follow um, th yeah, followed by the word control. That's yeah, right, you can put control yeah. after all of them. Button, diver, patch, Gatsby. I was hoping you knew this, Dave. No, sadly not. Um, <laughs> things that Surnames can be... names of um, characters in... Novels famous. by Fitzgerald. Yeah. That's the answer. They are characters from F. Scott Fitzgerald. It is the curious case of Benjamin Button. It is a Fitzgerald story. Oh. Dick Diver from Tender is the Night. The Patches from The Beautiful and Damned. And, of course, Jay Gatsby, mm. the great Gatsby. They are Scott Fitzgerald characters. You mm. stumbled your way there at the last oh, minute. Yeah. And the last group, Damage, Forgettable, Caraway Committee. Do they all um, be begin with three-letter words? <laughs> Damn, four, car and... Com, no com isn't even a three-letter word, is it? Oh, they, all, they can all be split to be two words. I'm afraid you've given an answer which I oh, can't yeah. accept, but I think one of the Davids is muttering the right answer yeah. too late. You split them. Damn age, forget table, yeah. car away, commit tea. They are two well, words put together yeah. to make another one, but just too late. Nevertheless, four points for the groups you found. Three connections, a total of seven. Time to bring back the eggheads, who, of course, have never played a connecting wall before. They'll get a different wall, but it's very tough. How will they fare? Eggheads, good luck with your first attempt at the wall. You're going to get the lion wall. You've got two and a half minutes to find the four groups. Starting now. Oh, saffron's a herb. Any more herbs? Remy, Bono. And a single, um, single word. Skin. Skin. No. Uh, Pro temporary, pro forma, pro yeah. yes. Tempor pro bono, pro, 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 pro forma, pro rata, pro temporary. No? No. no. Yeah. Uh, oh, Harlequin, that's a... That's a wasp could be a rugby player, that's yeah. a Saracen. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one, Saints, Harlequin, and a Saint. Sh so oh, sharks. One or the other, yeah. All right, so we work through those. OK, okay. now no, you do all this and work them all. Good Three idea. strikes and you're out now. Be careful how right. you press. Fish, skin, skin rock. Yeah. Skin is certainly a, a musician. Yeah. Lemmy is from Lemmy is Fish is from Meridian. Yeah. Mm. Well, what about the saffron, rock, trapper, and maniac? What would they be? Mm. Yeah, they're all the time. Uh, maniac. That's not a vegetable. No, that's maniac, that's maniac, not maniac. Mm. At halfway through the time. No words in the middle of them. There's nothing that no. I can work out from vowels or anything strange like that. Kleptomaniac, pyromaniac, no, nothing like that. Uh, Saffron is a sort of flower. Saffron's yeah. expensive. Most uh, expensive, anything now. Saffron rice. Does that help us? No. no. Rock groups? We'd better do try the rock groups and get that yeah. anyway. What do you go for? So what do we do? Lemmy. Fish. Um, skin and who's our last one that's it you've solved the wall very well done so that's four immediate points bonus points available mm -hmm. for the connections bono or bono rata forma tempore all start with pro pro put... bono pro rata pro forma pro tempore that's it you can put pro before them all harlequin wasp saint saracen all rugby, club, all rugby clubs rugby, rugby union. union clubs that's exactly right 
saffron lemmy fish skin. They're all single word um, pseudonyms for musicians. That's right, they're singers. It's saffron from Republica, lemmy from Motehead, fish from Marillion, skin from Skunk and Nancy, single word mm -hmm. musicians or singers. And the last one, rock trapper shark maniac. Mm. Blue shark, no. Drawing a blank, I will tell you they are all styles of poker player. Oh, well, you'd know. A rock would be a type player, <laughs> trapper, it's obvious. Shark, one to avoid, maniac, super razor. They are types of poker player. So you got four points for the groups, three for the connections. That is a total of seven. Let's see how that leaves the scores as we enter the final round. The eggheads have got 11 points. The Davids also have 11 points. So it will all be decided by missing vowel. And going into round four, just to make me feel more comfortable, someone's crept in and left these lovely framed pictures of Dermot Murnahan and Jeremy Vine, just like I've got in my bedroom at home. So that's nice for me. For you, I'd like to see fingers on Buzz's teams. The first category are all known by three initials. Don't know this one. It's in vitro fertilization for IVF. Next clue. David's. Like before wicket. For LBW, correct. David's. Central Intelligence Agency. For CIA, correct. David's. Quad Erat Demonstrandum. For QED, correct. Next category famous works of non fiction. David's. The Republic. Correct. David's. Tess of the D'Urbervilles. I'm afraid you lose a point. Possible bonus for the eggheads. Too long. It's Eats, Shoots and Leaves by Lynn Truss. Next clue. David's. Leviathan. Correct, by Hobbs. David's. A female eunuch. From Germaine Greer, that's correct. The next category, commonly used French phrases. David's. Enfant terrible. Correct. Eggheads. Coup de grâce. Correct. Eggheads. Raison d'être. Correct. Eggheads. Je ne sais quoi. Correct. Next category. Peter and the Wolf characters and their instruments. Eggheads. Grandfather bassoon. I'm afraid you actually lose a point because it's grandfather and bassoon. The N and the D are there, but it was too late to throw it over. But looking at the scores, the Eggheads have got 13 points, but the Davids are the winners with 17. Very good quizzing. Well done, you. But Eggheads, an extremely creditable performance. Thank you so much for coming. It was really lovely to meet you all. Thank you for joining us. And before we go, I do just want to clarify, at the beginning, I was joking. Impartiality is very important at the BBC. I am, of course, completely neutral. All the answers are independently verified and nobody speaks to the question setters or socialises with them in any way. Goodbye. In unexplored territory next on BBC4 to discover the forgotten past of a whole continent. In a brand new series, Dr Jago Cooper explores the truth behind the legends of the lost kingdoms of South America.